Punyol Page to take over the game. Uh, Gaiman, you know, for them, it's a pretty straightforward draft, honestly, and their tempo can be absolutely terrifying with Shadow Fiend and this Beastmaster. Let's jump into it. Game number one between Boom and Gaiman Gladiators. EU versus SEA. Let's get it started. Both teams smoking out to start with. Yeah, not too crazy just yet. FBZ checks it out. All right, oh, my smoke broke. <laughs> not going to put my yeah. ward down. Just wait for now. I think they might have identified the wrong side of the cliff there, because FBC, he he, pung, he pinged the uh, the high ground area there and, and actually didn't didn't find it. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if he was pinging where he thought the ward was. I think he was just pinging that hey, there's there's heroes here. There's heroes here. Yeah, so the popped, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that I think that's all. Come on, people, use the context pings. This is this is what we need. Oh, FBZ, uh, this the spot him. I'm gonna put some damage onto him. Yeah, sorry, he's got the rebound, but it's 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 a bit tricky to close the gap there. Yeah, that would have been would have been a tough one, and they don't. Oh, they they have some, some information now on where Boom are, but oh, I forgot to get the easy predicted. Uh, I think Boom's gonna win this game. Oh yeah, yep, yep. Well, I think Boom's gonna lose. How about that? Well, we shall see. <laughs> and we'll we might both be right. <laughs> Okay, nothing too interesting on the bounty rune split. Just going to be a 2-2. Two -two. Um, yeah, I can't imagine that mid lane is easy for Pango. Like, you have to be so careful with how you use Swashbuckle, because when it's on cooldown, it's a pretty long cooldown, especially the early levels. You are pretty susceptible to just level 3 Batrider killing you off pretty easily. Yeah, yeah, you got to keep your distance for sure. Um, but yeah, I think Pangolin definitely one of the favored heroes against uh, the bat. He's not going to struggle too much, I don't think. And uh, I think obviously power runes in this match are going to be very, very important. Both of them can make big rotations with a nice power rune. So that's going to be something to keep an eye on. There are support rotations coming in for those going to be pretty critical. Yeah, and much easier for Boom to make the support rotations with the... The tiny Enigma lane compared to the Rubik trying to make his way over. So that that's another thing that's going to be annoying for the Pango at mid is uh, the Enigma is pretty free to just send his, his tiny over to help out as much as he wants. And they're just going to have to... Uh, top lane should be a default win for, uh, for the side of Boom, but at the same time there is a lot of kill threat. Uh, from Duracho and, and Celery, so certainly some possibility for them to get off on the right foot. And uh, a late but fashionable good luck, have fun, coming out from Tofu to uh, properly start off this game as a pause is now over. So, all three lanes looking very nice. Yopaj versus Boom in the mid in the Batrider versus Pangolin matchup, which, uh, as we've talked about a little bit already, slightly Yopaj favored, but uh, the Pangolin can do fine. It's not going to be a convincing lane either way. Meanwhile, down at bottom, I think this one's very interesting. As we mentioned, the uh, PA laning up versus the bat, uh, the Beastmaster. They can kill off the balls. Ace realizes that and actually just takes a Wild Axe as level one. And uh, Skem is, is not having fun having to deal with those. Yeah, he's copying a lot of spam. Both both sides already have there's magic sticks across the board, so uh, there's, there's going to be plenty of spam down here. And uh, scam, they're kind of happy just to take the extra damage here as uh, all these axes coming through. Oh, does manage to just about clip one of them onto uh, onto scam there? So yeah, it's very annoying. Just the constant uh, constant spam of these axes. But he is now out of mana, so it should stop for at least the time being, at the very least. Might consider getting a, a Bazzy on Tofu. I feel like that would be good, but oh his God. first blood in the middle lane as Boom gets brought down by Yopaj. Hits the level uh, three, I think, and is just able to run him down. Wow. Yes, yeah, this, this matchup's not easy. <laughs> but And dang, that's going to be a really fast level four for Yopaj. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a big problem for Game Gladiators. He might just die again next Firefly. I don't know. I don't know what really changes uh, between between now and then. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's a question mark, especially now he doesn't have the wand charges. Yopaj can just stack him up on him again. I mean, he does come back to lane with a full magic wand rather than just a stick before, but still, Boom just has to stay away. This is so sad. Yeah, he can maybe Yopaj can maybe even dive him with the glyph. Right, glyph's coming off cooldown in twenty seconds. 
True. Top lane drag back onto Tim. Save. Get the Shadow Razors out, but it's not enough damage to bring down the Tiny. He gets himself out. Yeah, Shadow Fiend's a little low here. It's a little, little bit scary because Tim's now has the, the Avatos. So could look for a toss back into the waiting arms of FPZ. My god, look how zoned out Boom is in this lane. Goodness gracious. At least he's able to come in and get these range creeps, but yeah, it's a, it's a rough one. Well, hopefully things start to go a little bit better for this Bangalore in the middle lane, because right now it's, uh, it's, it's not looking too hot. And meanwhile, up at top, things just looking, uh, looking, looking a bit, a bit, a little bit more peaceful now. They're out of mana. On the uh, Shadow Fiend, the kill potential is kind of gone for the time being. Yeah, side lanes have calmed down for a moment. Support's looking to unblock camps, just start playing the, the next little part of the laning phase. Uh, maybe start making some rotations over towards mid, like we were talking about. Looks like that's the plan from Tim's. He's going to stack a camp and then. Uh, run over to contest. I, I don't think they can help boom that much, unfortunately. And yeah, <laughs> they're they're really coming over and putting the pressure on Tim's and Scam, both rotating over to check out the four minute runes. What have we here? But it, it's not a complete whitewashing in terms of CS, right? It's seventeen to to twenty five on mid. So it's rough for the Pango, but it's getting something. And like we said, the, these teams have been picking it, even knowing that there are these bad matchups out there and still just feeling confident. Like, yeah, whatever. The the Rolling Thunder is just so good. <laughs> Look at the aggression. Oh, bottom lane, eh? Jump forward onto Tofu here. Tofu's going to turn around with a Fade Bolt. There's a lot of damage coming out from the Frost Shield, though. Jack trying to finish the job and will be able to do so. Closes the gap as Skem gets a kill. Ace looking for a bit of revenge here, though, as the Wild Axe has come down, along with the slow from the boars, but Jackie's able to kill off one of the boars. Is that going to be enough space for Skem to survive? Doesn't look like it. The poison, it's just going to connect, and with the axes there from Ace, they will finish the job. Yeah, Punch went for a dive at mid, but he got really low. Um, he can get the refill off of Scam once he respawns, so... Not the end of the world, but a, a free wave for Boom under his tower. Yeah, something he'll be very, very grateful for at the moment. And Tim's even uh, starting to hang around around mid lane as well. He's gonna go for the D ward at the very least. Uh, maybe not actually. Holding out for now. And now, the moment he pops out Swashbuckle, in comes the Avalanche, toss back into your Pirate Skem, joining him as well, and they are going to be able to take it down, Mr. Boom. Boom kills Boom. Boom aside. <laughs> so sad. Uh, I think they didn't quite manage to scout at that rotation from Tim's. He was just, like, hidden behind the tree as he came in. They, they saw the Observer Ward, but maybe the Ops didn't see him. Celery is going to get the D Ward here for himself, but... Yes, uh, this mid lane's mid lane's rough. And it's just too too free. The FPZ is not going to come under any pressure for the fact that his position four was elsewhere on the map. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's that's enigma for you. What a hero! Just completely enabling the sports to do whatever they want. But he's still thinking of coming up top again. Uh, Shadowfiend better be aware of this, because if he gets wrapped around upon him, he's in Ace at bottom, your pie's rotated down here. It's... Oh no, that's a dead beast master. Boom. Off to a flying start here in game number one. Tim's waiting in the sidelines up in the top lane. Draccio positioned very nicely for now, but... Comes in too close and catches a Malefist, and he could be in some real trouble. Oh, game in. They're looking to respond though. They want to kind of uh, abuse this, and they're going to do exactly that. In comes Rolling Thunder. Dracho jumps there, but who's jumping whom here is the question. They will get down FBZ. Tim's actually going to be able to avoid the uh, Rolling Thunder, but the Swashbuckle finishes off regardless, and both kills go to Dracho as well, which I think Gaming Gladiators is going to be very, very happy with. Absolutely critical rotation for Gaming Gladiators there. Boom doesn't get any of the last hits, but you know, just benefiting on the experience, get some active on the map. Really needing to respond to some of what Yopage has been been getting done since he is completely taking over the game so far. And still so much pressure on the mid lane. We got tons of observer wards, support rotations, all of the emphasis is being placed here currently. Dyer's middle tower 
Yeah, it's very intense, and that makes a lot of sense because, as we said, these rotations have already been the critical factor of the game as Tim's with Froshi out upon him. He's going to just about survive Boom's onslaught for now. Yo Punch coming over the trees, does have a lasso, going to use it onto Boom, and he doesn't stand a chance of surviving this one. Or does he? Oh, nice catch from Scam, beautifully done with a sinister gaze, brings down the Pangolin. Dang, the, the boom supports on, on land have just been destroying the pango. There was a toss interrupt on a shield crash before, and now we've got the sinister gaze on the swashbuckle. He's not having a fun time. Very tasty supporting. Looking good. Oh, crush him. Denied. Yes, Bat Rider's off to such a good start. We talked about him needing to control the game well. He's currently sitting with eight minutes boots of travel and 300 gold in the bank as well. Ready to just come out to any lane and any lane's going to be bottom now. They want to punish Ace once again. Raw comes out, but they're ready for it. Boom going for the Rolling Thunder, chaining it onto Jackie, but actually changing his mind and then moving over towards the support instead. Trying to find something to bounce off here, but it's not really working out too great for him. He needs to finish the job here. Swashbuckle in, gets the kill, but Yopash now looking to run him down. Tofu's in the neighborhood, though. Looking to Firefly's stop this from happening, so Boom's going to be okay, yeah. Yopash can actually be the one in some trouble. A jump forward from Boom, and the Swashbuckle gets the kill. Game in. They come out with a win down in the bottom lane. Oh, man. That is so painful <laughs> for, the, for the side of Boom. Like, lo losing your mid, losing your carry, nothing else is really happening on the map, and this pango that you, you counterpicked and shut out of the game is now just right back into it. Yeah, look at those net worse. He's, uh, he's not even that far behind anymore. It's in front of FBZ and Jackie, eh? Right, that's all that really matters. And the Beastmaster hasn't really been shut down. Uh, Ace is farmed up very nicely. Uh, it's going to be super easy for them to just rally the supports with him right now, and... Uh, start looking to muscle down some objectives. This is why I was harping so much about, like, Yopaj. He, he is still number one in net worth, but he needs to have a phenomenal game just to control the pace so that the Enigma and the Phantom Assassin can both kind of farm up since they're not going to look to be active for, for ages. Well, Illusion Rune grabbed by Boom. Not the ideal fighting rune you're looking for. Okay, they are trying to make a play with this smoke. Not willing to give away bot tier 1 to the Beastmaster for free, but Gaiman seem to appreciate that there is the, the potential for this defense. And keeping their heroes in the area. It's only level yeah. 4 on the Tiny. Uh, Tim's not bringing that much to the equation here. It's going to have to be Opaj doing all the damage. Oh, this is cute though. Throwing him in with the uh, with the with the bat rider here and throwing down the frost shield is off him as well. Yelpash though taking some heavy hits. He needs to survive through this. He's not going to do so. And now the return chain frost bouncing around. FPZ goes in with black hole, but not really getting a whole lot done. Tofu on the run might get taken down here. Sinister Gaze comes on through. Toss back as well, but he'll throw down the fade bot onto the FPZ and with the help of Boom will bring him down. But will die to the avalanche from Tim's. Boom though going to chase down Tim's and probably get the kill here. Swashbuckle is available and the right click finishes the job. Boom, now on a killing spree, recovering from this middle lane miraculously. Was that better than just giving them the tower? I guess they weren't trading anymore. They've already taken the, the safe lane tower for Gaiman, so just wanted to get a little bit more out of the black hole. Uh, FBZ making the rotation. Uh, every death for Yopage I think is very costly for Boom. Because he can just die. He, you know, he absolutely needs to have BKB in these fights. Otherwise, all of the nukes are just going to obliterate him, as, as we kind of saw in that last fight. Yeah, it was a really cute idea just throwing your patch in with the Frost Shield. But ultimately, like, it, it's almost all magic damage coming out onto them. So the Frost Shield doesn't even protect him that much. He just get gunned down by all the spells of Boom. Yeah, maybe if they managed to connect with the Enigma a little faster. Or maybe they could have just tossed in the Enigma. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, that would have been pretty sick. But anyway, ifs and buts and Game of Gladiator is just going to keep the pressure on. Uh, not a whole lot to worry about currently. So I think they can just kind of come and muscle down this mid tier one tower if they want to. Yeah, and you see that there as they're all smoked up and booms up. Actually, I just kind of want to farm this creep work camp and keep putting pressure into the jungle. Like, I, I don't really care too much about sneaking around and trying to outplay them. We can just zerg. That's exactly going to be the plan as the creep wave comes in towards the middle lane. Sees the Serenity, offering an absurd amount of healing. Whoa. So powerful. Wow. So good. You can see how 
wall of game and a gathering inside that green aura to get the healing go. So powerful. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, free tower. Uh, back to farming for a little bit. And still very much the same game plan for Gaming Gladiators. Just keep it going, going, going. Hit this Beastmaster timing. Uh, try and finish the game or just get super far ahead before the PA is too much of a concern. Jackie is farming nicely. He's going to have a pretty fast Battle Fury here. So I don't think Boom are sweating too much, but uh, next few minutes for the Bat Rider are going to be important. And they're even giving the stacks over to Yopaj. You can, you can see how much Boom are like, look, sure, we could give this to the PA or we give it to the Bat Rider. He's going to get an item sooner and that's going to make space for the PA. So, putting a lot of faith uh, in the bat, and you're probably just going to have to pay that back. Yep, he is. Uh, but of course, uh, farming these ancients is a pain in the ass for a barrier. He's actually going to leave him. Interesting. Yeah, he's, he's, okay. he's tenderizing him. He's got another Firefly. You could, could finish them if you wanted. You're yeah, going to stack like it again? stack them one more time. Okay. Okay. All right. And Gaming Gladiators uh, with a four-man smoke. Yeah, yeah, they want to go play some Dota. They want to go hit their spells, and Yopage is showing on the front lines here. Tofu doesn't quite have the range to get off the lift, so it's going to be a... Uh, oh, no. They found Skem inside the pit. Gets slapped by a Hellbear Smasher. God, I love it. Seeing, I love seeing those Hellbear Smashers get kills. They see Enigma TP so bottom. I guess they can't really walk into Roche. Shadowfiend's not in the, not in the area. So it may, may be a little stressful against the bat as well. I do think that play is coming at, at some point. Uh, Going to pick off into a Roshan play for Gaiman. Sort of the natural way to keep this progression going. And the Invis Rune on Boom is hoping to find FPZ down here. Yeah, Dracho doing a bit of baiting. Say, oh no, don't black hole me, bro. But, uh, well, he's got the uh, Wraithpad Totem coming down. And the black hole coming down. He's going to drag him into the black hole here on Yopaj. And that's going to be a dead Dracho. FBZ surviving through it all. Boom, unable to connect here. And old oh, Celery tries to get the jump in, but gets caught out. Now the uh, Sinister Gaze comes out onto him. Tim's with the Avalanche. Throws him back into the clutches of Yopaj, who will bring down Celery as well. A lovely stick chomped on by the side of Boom as they'll take down two in the bottom lane. That did not go as planned. I think Pango could have maybe gotten to the wall and, and back to FBZ just a little bit faster, but took him a little while and uh, they get completely punished for that. Dang, that's that's a really big pickup for Boom. Yeah, that's huge. Now in the middle lane, Tim's. It looks like he's going to get bored down. Tofu going to throw forward his, uh, his Pangler. Yeah, nice. Uh, okay, well, there you go. They, they use Black Hole. <laughs> Time to walk into Rush. Yep. No Black Hole, and uh, PA still farming up, you know, just hitting her uh, Battle Fury timing now, but not really a hero just yet. So if you're all there, they're jumping out of the pit to get this kill onto the Lich here as well. Gonna be an easy pick up for them, and back into the pit we go. Quite a big timing coming now. So they're going to get the Helm of the Overlord picked up in a second. Uh, Shadowfiend not going to be the one to take the Aegis. Okay. Uh, this does allow Boom to play very aggressively on the front lines. Not have to worry so much about getting lassoed. Uh, he is definitely yep. going to be the first point of contact for Gaiman. So I, I don't mind this. But just have to make sure that yeah, Shadowfiend isn't getting getting jumped. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Now, Drasho is the uh, precious cargo this game. You know, he's, he's he's not the one on the front of the ship. He's in the in the cargo bay at the back. They just yep. want to ship him in when they want to take some objectives. They just smack the tower as his team protects him. He's all nicely bubble wrapped and yeah, protected by the yep. team. I don't know who the bubble wrap is in this analogy. That might be <laughs> might be Tofu. His head is just getting popped by <laughs> by Boom in some of these fights. As long as it's him getting popped and not Duracho, he'll be yeah. happy with that. Uh, they've got a blink on their tiny. Blink on oh, FBZ is going to take a little skag. while. And they've got a BKB on the no, bat no, 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 no. Oh, man. There is nothing worse than getting this, a stack taken. Yeah, this is painful. That's my hot take. I absolutely despise it. It's just... It's just... Especially when you're telling your carry to like, come farm this. Anyway. It just feels so disrespectful. As, uh, well, they have lost boom straight up.
the body here. Now they're going to go in, but the Rogue is going to cancel out that uh, lasso, which is attempted by Yopaj. And Yopaj now taking a ton of damage. Tannery can't quite finish the job, though, but the Fate Bolt's there from Tofu, from downtown. They'll get that kill. And boom, he's up the high ground here. He doesn't die, give it down there in their base. He's going to be able to run down FBC regardless. Gaming Gladiators, this pace is absolutely off the charts. Uh, okay. <laughs> that was just a... Uh, the pickoff looked okay, but then boom, super committing for the fight. Yopaj running in and just getting clicked down by Duracho. I don't think they're going to lose their high ground here, but just, just a weird one. Ouch. Uh, yeah. Yeah, a little bit too hard on a commando from Yopaj there. Not really respecting the raw available from Ace, who's just saving it for that situation every single time. Yeah, I don't know what you do from here on out. I mean... I guess you guess they lost the Aegis on, on gaming, so you know they're, they're very um, vulnerable to ganks from Boom. But Boom need to get some vision back out of the map, that's for sure. They've only got this one ward around the middle lane, that's not enough. The Hawk's scouting them here, but. Alright, not gonna be able to get anything. Yeah, they, they do need to kind of get out onto the map, get some more vision, get maybe some kind of threat going in the side lanes. Jackie's doing what he can, but. Really not where you want to see your Batrider currently. He's just, you know, sitting and trying to defend buildings. Much prefer that he's making space by, you know, cutting waves and, and finding some jungle farm in between. Oh, God, is Thiracha going to one-shot him? Doesn't have long on the Shadow Blade duration. God, he's so. going to try. <laughs> he's running at him. He's looking for it. Oh, he's going for the... Uh, oh. wreck they, they thought he went back the other way, but Yopaj did, did not. <laughs> he's... A swing and a miss. Yeah. It looks pretty. Ooh, they, they scanned that PA is in their triangle. Uh, they're they're yeah, coming sure back. He's marching up here by himself. Is is quite the play. Wait, but, they uh... missed. Wait, they didn't see him. What? Oh. <laughs> so I think he shield crashed and then he, he broke the uh, blur. he broke the blur, but then he ended up on the other side of the trees, and right, <laughs> and didn't okay. see him. That <laughs> that's just very confusing. Jackie must have been like, oh god, I'm dead. <laughs> oh wait, yeah. never mind. Oh. I live. Okay. Mother, I'm coming home. Well, that was too... I don't know if I want to call them fortunate necessarily for, for Boom, but nicely played. Find some room on the map. And... Uh, yeah, but Tim's is looking to kind of flirt with Duracho here, but uh, he's got the Shadow Blade and the rebound, so he's going to shoot out of there at a million miles an hour and get himself back to safety. So the whole game kind of comes down to the next one or two team fights. Gaming are not aiming for any, like, big items from here. It's sort of pick up the drum on the Beastmaster, pick up the Basher on the Pango. Uh, maybe you get this full Silver Edge on the Shadow Fiend. He gets his level 15. Uh, and all it's going to take is one convincing team fight win for them to destroy two lanes of Rax. But all Boom needs to do is maybe you know, save one buyback, uh, get a decent black hole... You know, take a relatively even fight, and the PA is going to start taking over this game before too long. Yeah, absolutely. It's always in the back of Gaiman's mind. As uh, they will lose their lovely little Helm of the Overlord creep there. Very sad. But Gaiman, once again, looking to uh, keep the gas coming. Keep accelerating into this one. I mean, they know where Boom are, but... What do they want to do? Looks like they want to retake over the triangle and uh, look to put pressure on towards the middle lane. Are they going to pick up a gem somewhere as well? Man, Rubik is actually quite farmed. Tofu's managed to pick up an Aether Lens and a Blink Dagger. So definitely some big playmaking potential for him and makes FBZ have to think twice about how he's going to be using the black hole in these upcoming fights. Yeah, I'd actually really like to see the shard from Tofu, because you can lift people out of Black Hole if you get that, right? Uh, I'm not sure. I think maybe... maybe not. I'm, I'm not actually... Okay. Because I, I Black Hole and Chrono are like... Oh. Lasso out yes. onto Boom. They've caught out the Pangalia. Boom. Gonna be able to pick up the kill onto Boom. Bit of Boom aside. Yeah, Black Hole and Chrono are like the two weird ones where there's a whole bunch of exceptions, right? Like you can't snowball. Um, 
people in those. So I, I am not certain about the telekinesis. I should know, but I don't. I'll, I'll check after the game. That's all right. Meanwhile, boom, they're going to be able to take down this middle tier one tower. So uh, they're going to be feeling very happy with that one. <clears throat> And now they smoke in. They're just going to charge their way over towards Gaiman. Gaiman, actually going to be seen here. Avalanche comes out. They found Celery. It's a good target to bring down, but the Requiem from the low ground going to force them back. It's going to open up the fight. And Scratchy just starts pounding away at them. Raw comes through, but Celery is gone as Jackie gets in and finds the egg. Another black hole comes down. Cancels out Dracho. Immediately cancelled out by the lift from Tofu. He's stealing it and comes back in, but immediately cancelled out once again. I'm not even sure what cancelled it there, but uh, Jackie still tearing through the fight, doing whatever he wants as Rolling Thunder comes ripping on through. That's going to lock him down. He jumps across over towards Jofu. Tofu blinked down to the low ground, though. How's he surviving through the side? Fights him again, but Tofu just guns him in the face. Come for me. Nah, come for you. Fable into the face. Four dead on the side of Boom and only two lots on the side of Gaming Gladiators. Huge fight for them. Dracha absolutely turning it around with that Requiem from the low ground. Just sending Boom yeah, back. Massive. Gave Game in a second to reset get the jump onto the bat rider who didn't get to do anything in that fight he just got roared and uh, was absolutely obliterated and rubik's still holding on to the black hole uh, at the end of the day here i, I don't know if tofu is just going to sit on this it, it is a long you know long while but yeah so we see this again they get the jump but they they can't immediately kill off the marcy they get the turnaround tiny takes a lot of damage they get the roar onto the bat and you know fight looks okay after that FBZ, great presence of mind to stun the Rubik. Otherwise, that black hole would have just ended their whole game. Yeah, <laughs> true. And you know, we're seeing that the PA is, is becoming strong. And if she gets another damage item, you know, when she gets into the, the Deso and maybe an item after that, it's going to be very, very powerful. But for now, uh, Game and Cancel kind of deal with her. Yeah, yeah, it's not a huge problem. There's some uh, adorable giggling there from Mr. Tofu. Feeling good about this game. I wonder if that was the PA blinking on top of Rubik and just getting fade bolted in the face. That was, I, uh, I think so. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, boom, kind of looking for another move. Both teams playing very grouped up. There's, there's a lot of tension in the air. Both teams know that they're inside of the Roshan window. Uh, we've got a gem picked up for the side of Boom, so they're just trying to reclaim all the map control, get the D-Wards going. I don't think we have one. Yeah, we don't have one on the side of... Oh, we do have one on the side of Gaiman. Picked up by Tofu. It's on the Pango. Neat. So, uh, both, both teams know that these next two fights pretty much completely decide the game. Yeah, as we're going to start things over the kill onto Scam. Frosty would actually going to buy him a little bit of time, but Duraccio still chasing. Still chase come, come, come back, Scam. Come back. God damn it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Tofu comes in around the side. Gets it done. Like, you can feel the frustration of Dracula. <laughs> it's just like, why are you so fast? You stupid ice man. What are you, what are you doing? Yeah. Okay, so still 50 seconds until Roche. But only 10 seconds until Tofu's got this black hole back off cooldown. Uh, which is, you know, normally the problem with Rubik is that the enemy team has to cast the spells first before you can steal them and uh, throw them back in their face, but n not so here. Uh, it can actually be, you know, normally it's like, oh, Enigma's looking to black hole the Rubik. Uh, this time around, it could just be Tofu looking to, to black hole FBZ before he can do anything. Oh, the ward being pinged out here. Gold Oh, yeah. Take that ward. Got some dewarding. What what a support Dracho is. Money for tofu. It's a cool interaction. The way that whoever buys the gem just gets all of the <laughs> ward last hits for the rest of the game. Um, tofu's yep, not going to be good. complaining too much. And Absolutely. boom, looking for a big wraparound here. I mean, they they don't really have a whole lot of vision. So just trying to try and get the wards, see what they see. A little bit scary. Gaming are just in the pit. I'll so know where they are, but yeah, this is going down so quick. They need to do something now. Black hole on the sidelines. Uh, Tofu just dropping it onto the tiny. He doesn't really care about that cooldown. As uh, Yolpaj going to clear off the pit right now. And once again, the Rolling Thunder just securing the Roshan. They now have no tiny, so Gaming just... They're just going to get this for free. The Requiem's going to go, but there was no contest being used there from uh, Gaming. Uh, from uh, Boom, sorry. Yeah, they just couldn't get in. They got a, they got a nice ward, but... 
it's it's just so hard. What I don't know how Yopa is just supposed to initiate it. And there's always the threat of of getting roared. He doesn't have any way to deal with yeah. that. Even with the blink BKB, it's just still not really possible for him. They need someone to come and disrupt, and unfortunately that job kind of falls down to the Tiny, and that's it, it's really hard for the Tiny to just jump in and kind of start the fight in a meaningful way without just instantly dying. And yeah, I get, he gets Black Hole in the last fight, which is kind of like forgivable, but yeah. Oh, they showed the Shadow Fiend, but they're still looking for kills here. Roar out onto Yopar they want to try and bring him down. Celery alone doesn't have enough damage though. They'll jump forward onto Ace. Jackie's got the damage to bring him down here. If he gets out of the stun low, pops a BKB and now turns the towards Celery instead. But Skem is dead in the back lines. Jackie will finally find the crit onto Celery. Now blink up to the high ground. FPC's there to help him out. But what can FPC do? The one second black oh, hole yeah. barely lasts even that. But Jackie's back in again trying to find the target. But boom's upon him, locking him down. No way out of this one. Down goes Jackie. FPC, unfortunately, they're just was not the black hole. I, I think he cancelled it. I'm no, he sure. got he got feared by the shadow fiend. I'm pretty sure he got the auto attack oh, off before. That's what it was. Yeah, he, he got the auto attack off before he got black hold. <clears throat> so it was did not think that, and that was the shard that they just got in that last rush on engagement. Oh my god. Yeah, that's, that's so uh, unfortunate. Yeah, that's really painful for for FBZ. It was right. such a tricky spot because Jackie kind of has to blink to him to. Uh, to get out of the fight, but it also completely compromised his position. I think at that point, Gamer were like, who's on that high ground? Where, wh why yeah. is why is he able to go there? Um, yeah, yeah, a bit sus. And then, uh, and of course, Gaming just have so much chase as well. You know, they've got Blink yep. Daggers coming up the wazoo. They've got Amasi, who has the rebound. It's uh, Pangolier, who's just insanely mobile all the time, so... Well, they've you still got Aegis. Away. They've got 35 seconds until they've got Black Hole, because Tofu's is on a shorter cooldown right now than, than FPZ's is, so... I... It's a tricky fight for Boom. You, ha you have to kill the Rubik, and you also have to kill the Shadow Fiend twice. Uh, not gonna be easy. No, it is not, my learned friend, base Gip. No, it is not, but, uh... Gaiman, just putting the pressure on at the moment. Probably not actually committing to this high ground. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice. The second best thing to st uh, to spam when you paused. The best one, of course, being uh, it's an online video game. You can't just pause it. Yeah. Can you still get that that line, or is it gone? I think it might have been one of the the team bundles. Unfortunately, yeah, I think it maybe was a seasonal one. Uh, we we didn't know what we had. Oh well. Tell me what's gone. I, I'm still a big fan of the wild card one. Been that was great. One I, I, I couldn't deal with that one. <laughs> I, I kind of needed them to be eliminated to be able to cast any more games. It was, it was too much. Uh, Tier 1 tower in the middle lane getting absolutely shredded by Mr. Dracho here. He's got that lovely presence aura effect building talent, which is just going to turn this tower into a wet sausage. They've got the Presence Aura, they've got the Sidekick that they're sticking on the Shadow Fiend, they got the Beastmaster Aura. Uh, Duracho is an absolute beast. And for Boom, it's just desperately try and find a little bit more farm on the map, try and wait out this Aegis, but it's still another minute and 40. Maybe they can make some kind of a tossback play or something on the high ground, but even, even that's not going to be that easy. Yeah, Boom is struggling, but Boom is doing great. He's got himself a uh, Diffusal Blade. He's uh, got himself a Bashes, so don't get confused, folks. Keep up. Come on. Better be paying attention. No sleeping through this series. Oh, my God. They, they, they weren't ready for Dracho here, and he's literally just going to take a Tier 3 tower by himself. That is insane. Om nom 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 nom. There we go. On to the rage barracks. Yo, Pash, anything you want to do about this? No, I've got the toss back. That's a bit of an issue here. He's in very deep. If he dies deep here, that could cause trouble. They're getting him all the way back to the fountains. A black hole comes through. And, uh, well, that's a lot of damage coming out from Durantio inside it as well. Oh, my goodness. The black hole from Tofu. Getting it done. Now, FBC comes in, looks for his own three map, but cancelled out once again by Celery. Not happening today, my friend. Nice try, FBC. And now the damage is unleashed from Duraccio, just absolutely tearing Yopaj apart. There's nothing they can do. I think it's over, base skip. I, I, think, I think it might just be Boom don't have anything left in the tank. They, they tried, but FBC, Enigma thwarted too many times and unfortunately Batrider not gonna get his second win here in the 
TI-11 group stage. Another L for the L rider. Look at this, uh, Shadow Fiend. Oh, absolutely demolishing buildings. It's, it's, a, it's a treat to watch. Yeah, we're, no, we're, no, 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 no. Worth noting Radio that it's like top wasn't really a, a stomp in favor of uh, boom. FPZ did, you know, typical Enigma things, but the one time that they came to try and kill the Shadow Fiend, GG. that's when they got completely obliterated by the Pango rotation. And I'm so impressed by, by Boom this game. He got demolished uh, by Yopage in lane and still didn't break a sweat. Yeah, it's kind of the way the team rallied around him to make sure yeah. that he still had a good game. Like, they still put all their faith in him and just committed 100% to his rotations and absolutely brought him back into the game and, and then some. So uh, Boom's still having a fantastic performance against the team he is named after. <laughs> yeah. uh, he did great. Cannot cannot put it any other way. Um, they banned a lot of Celery heroes. He just ended up playing the, the Marcy. He looked totally fine. There, there were no problems.